I'm going to show you how to use an app on your computer called Google Drive for desktop. Um, you're probably familiar with Google Drive in the web version uh, via a browser, but they actually make a desktop app uh, which you can find in your applications folder. And when you double click to open up that app for the first time, uh, it's going to ask you to sign in to your Google account and it's going to give you a little menu bar icon up here at the top. So if you don't get the sign in window, you may already have it open in that little sign in window. It might just need to tell it to sign in. But I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my uh, district Google account. I now have a little Google Drive icon that shows up on my desktop. So anytime I need to get onto anything in my drive, I can either use the icon from my desktop, or if I simply open up any window, it'll show up over here on the left-hand side in my Google Drive window as well. Now, once I open it, I have my drive and access to all the shared drives. And if I open up my drive, I will see all of my documents, my folders, everything that is in my online Google Drive, they all show up right here. Now, next to each one of them, you're gonna see a little cloud icon. And what that little cloud icon means is that means this file actually lives in the Google Cloud, which is basically the online version of Google, um, the way it always has. But you now have the ability to pull these files up from your computer instead of having to go online every single time to get them. So if I wanted to open up one of these GDoc files, which is a Google Doc, or G Sheet, which is a Google Sheet, um, I could simply double click on it and it's actually going to open it up in a browser the same way it always has. It's a shortcut to that file um, and I could sign in and be able to edit it, make changes, share it, do all the same things I always would. But now I have a local version or a desktop version of all of those files right here. So if I needed to attach it and send it to somebody, I could do that easier. If I wanted to add something to my drive, all I literally have to do now is simply click on it and drag it into this Google Drive folder, and it'll automatically throw it up into the cloud uh, for me. So anytime I add something to it, anytime I drag and drop something into it, it's going to automatically um, add those things into my cloud. This is also my absolute favorite way to make folders in Drive and simply rearrange, organize, drag and drop things into those folders, which then instantly organizes it in the Drive uh, online, which can sometimes be challenging to organize. If it's something large that might take up more space and I needed to double click to open it up, it may take a second to open it for larger files. Essentially what's happening is, is anytime I double click on something, it is going to go to the cloud, find that file, uh, and then download it and open it up. If I make changes to that file, it will then take those changes and then resend those changes back um, into the online version as well. So if I were to go ahead and make a change to something um, in here, uh, it will take that change and then my little icon up here is actually uploading, if I click on it, I could see that, hey, this has changed. And once it has a little check mark, that means it has synced that change that I made on my desktop. It has synced it to the cloud uh, at the same time. So uh, it is a quick, easy, handy way to access everything that you have in your drive and a quick, easy way to add things to it. So if I'm trying to save space on my computer and um, I want to be able to add things into Drive. If I do it via the web version, I have to wait until that little icon completes um, the little circle and gives me the check mark before I close the window, before I close my browser. With this, I can literally just take an entire folder worth of stuff and just drag that folder wherever I need it to be, and it will copy it right into that Drive. So I throw it in here, it will copy that entire folder, uh, into it. It's a copy or a uh, it doesn't destroy the original. It just copies it into here. It still keeps my original uh, here as well. And it'll go through and start syncing all of the files that are in there up into the cloud. So next time I go into Google Drive in a web version, I will see all of those uh, those files there as well. So that is the Google Drive version. If I ever need to quit it, I can do that with this menu bar icon at the top. Uh, by clicking on the gear and then telling it to quit. Um, and then whenever I need to open it again, I can just go back into my applications folder, 
find the Google Drive app and simply double click it to open it and then that will launch it back on the desktop again. So that is the Google Drive app.